not sure where to start the novel of my relationship to date. Where I am at is that I feel that at being 33 years old and my wife being 29, we are wasting away the best years of our lives in an unhappy relationship with issues that we just can't seem to resolve or move on from. I don't want my marriage to end at all but I'm lost with how I can turn things around without both of us letting go of baggage. My wife and I met via an online dating site and dated for three months before I proposed to her, and then got married a further one year later. We have now been married for almost two years. She comes from a conservative ethnic minority family, and I come from a liberal, conservative ethnic minority. If I were to try and summarize the issues in our relationship, I would boil it down to these items. But simply, my wife is a person who looks at things glass half empty. There is always something she is not happy about whether it be people or things, like me, my family, her work colleagues, everything about how our new house has been built, or her family. She is a constant moaner and complainer and has a pessimistic view on things. Since childhood she always has been the one in her family to get angry, throw tantrums about things in an instant and ready to blame everyone else about everything. Believing at all times she is right about everything and no one has the right to show or argue when she isn't. Since marriage, I don't think there has been a period of more than seven days in a row where she has been happy with me. She believes that I am not the person I was before marriage and that therefore I have cheated her because I have changed. Changes accused are that I'm not nice to her anymore, I'm not happy with her, I don't love her. Her tantrums, I don't do anything for her and me don't support her. Situational and environment changes such as job change, living together, building a house, completing my master's whilst working full-time are irrelevant to her and she expected me to stay the same and give her her 24-7 attention. In regard to doing things for her, she said she would only want a diamond ring of one carat. I got this. She only would ever want to stay in five-star hotels for traveling and she has been like this as a kid and her dad has done it for her, so for our honeymoon and one trip since it has all been five-star. For long distance she said she can't fly economy so I had to do business class flights everywhere for our honeymoon. She has asked me to apply for jobs on her behalf, write CV, apply for her masters, actually do the masters on her behalf, it's online so I am doing all the readings, research and assignments. She hasn't even spent 20 minutes on the entire course in the last two months since she started. I'm doing everything even though it's science and I'm an IT guy. She likes expensive clothes so I buy her that constantly, I drive us everywhere, I do the washing, drying, food preparation cleaning, vacuuming in the house. Her excuse is she gets tired from work but we both work full-time. I hand her meals on her plate to her and take them to clean from her. Gifts I buy mostly make her angry and I have to get vouchers. When I don't buy gifts I get told I don't care about her anymore. The fact that her personality to me has completely changed from listening and being interested in everything I had to say before marriage, to now not caring about me or my thoughts, not respecting me, ignoring what I have to say or cutting me from speaking, and regularly being openly verbally abusive to me doesn't matter to her as she says she hasn't changed, and if she has changed it's because of things I or my family have done to her. Before marriage when she would get angry, she would simply stay quiet or tell me about it in an angry but polite manner. I would constantly apologize, even when not my fault, and she would get over things. Now, her anger is expressed through yelling, swearing, verbally attacking me by calling me all sorts of things. Things I did 5 to 10 years before we met that I shared with her in confidence are portrayed back to me with her accusing me of my bad character regardless that since we met, I never did any of those things. I constantly told I may X this or X that or to X off. I have not once in our entire relationship sworn at her or attacked her personally, yet she does this at ease and on an almost daily level. These attacks occur instantly anywhere anytime, in the middle of normal conversations. I get hurt by these attacks which she doesn't care about as says it serves me right and I have hurt her so I deserve it. Or when I try to respond to her attacks, I get told I'm either arguing or defending myself. If I try and argue back when she is completely wrong it escalates to the point where she threatens to harm herself and is literally screaming. So, I have no choice but to stay quiet, to which I then get told I'm just a mute. So, it's because I'm so mentally impacted by these attacks and look sad, unhappy and am not smiling. She says that I have changed. It doesn't matter to her that I look and feel like that because of the intensity of what I get from her and doesn't matter that I of course do smile and laugh at other times. She ignores the good times and gives blanket negative statements about me since marriage. Six months in the marriage for one month she was constantly saying she wanted a divorce but never actually went and did that. Now she says that she is just waiting for me to kick her out as she feels she can tell that I hate her and hate the way she looks and all I know is how to argue and fight and I don't love her. On the two occasions she walked out with her bags for two days, she accused me of throwing her out of the house when all that happened was me trying to stand up for myself when she was accusing me of things I never did. She constantly tells me she doesn't love me, has no feelings for me and hates me and my family. When she is angry, I get 20 to 30 texts and emails at work from her that are one to two pages each all just abusing and complaining about me. We don't really talk about anything either. When we are fine, we just talk about our house, we built it ourselves, or movies or her family. 
She hates talking about my job, music, current events, sports, TV shows, my family. She doesn't like any of my friends so I have only met them twice in the two years of marriage. In weekends we just go visit her family or stay home or do house shopping. She doesn't like going out for movies or drives as says we can't afford it. Even though we can actually afford to go out a little she says that we can't afford it. The reason we built a new home is because she refused to stay in a rental long term, didn't want to live in an old house that was lived in before, didn't want to live with parents, and didn't like designs of brand new already built houses. So, I had no other choice but to build. And because she has certain demands in how the house needs to be built, it has meant we need to make reasonable living sacrifices to be able to afford this. Not unlivable but she looks at it as black and white and now says to me that if I couldn't afford to build why did I do that? She doesn't see that it was her who didn't want it any other way. She also wants everything in the house to be new and the house completely filled up straight away and doesn't want any of my old stuff in the house even though she's happy to bring her old items. Intimacy is very lacking in our relationship. Maybe one to two times a month and it's never been perfect if you know what I mean. She seems to lose interest very quickly or doesn't let me go all the way. She never kisses me and always turns to the side when I try to kiss her good morning, night, bye for work, likewise with hugs. The only reason she says she stays with me is because of her family and she doesn't want to upset them. Although at times she does threaten to do things such as move overseas or find other guys who will respect her or treat her like a woman. When I suggested counseling, she went into a fit of rage saying why would she expose her laundry to a stranger and why would she listen to a stranger and accused me of not knowing what to do and not being a real man. I have since been to personal counseling when things have been at their worst in secret but haven't really found this to be much helpful as the counselor acknowledged it was hard to suggest anything without her involvement. So why do I continue to stay you ask? When she is happy, my heart melts. She looks like an innocent girl with cute chubby cheeks and sparkling big eyes and I just want to be with her forever and be her partner, protector and life companion. When she is happy, she is thoughtful about me, by telling her family to give me food, or when away from me, asking about me. I am very attached to her family and feel like they are my own blood sisters, brother, and mother, father too. I still love and adore my wife very much. Because of my bond with my wife and her family, I feel that if I decided to end this relationship I would never forgive myself for letting them all down. I feel scared that my wife's life would be completely shattered without me with life-longing impacts. But, I just don't know how much more I can sustain of the ups and down and constant abuse and baggage that she just refuses to let go. I'm already mentally impacted so much, my personality to my loved ones has changed, to her has changed, and my work gets impacted too. However, I just can't seem to bring myself to say to her that if she is so unhappy with me and her relationship that we should take a break and live apart or separate. What do I do? Trying to fill that emptiness and neediness is as futile as trying to fill up the Grand Canyon with a squirt gun. It is an impossible task. I do wonder though how useful this is all going to be if as you say it is an impossible task for her behavior to change or find a cure if she herself refuses to. I believe she has a problem. B. Even the slightest hint that I'm trying to say she has a problem will cause hell to break loose in. C. She refuses to talk to anyone about our issues, which I regret doing when I approached her family for help when she was constantly telling me she was going to divorce me. It made things worse with her accusing me of backstabbing her and gossiping about her to her family and putting them against her, and as mentioned counseling invoked a terrible response. If you're suggesting that I learn about BPD traits in order to change my approach to her, then isn't that still not really rectifying the situation but making me walk on eggshells even more? Couple of other things to mention, not sure if it changes things but... How she is to me isn't how she is to others. To friends, work colleagues she is a very shy introverted individual. She does constantly complain about her workmates to me though. To her mother and sisters, she almost seems normal except for getting annoyed quicker than others and her family would at things. She adores and idolizes her father and everything he does and speaks. She adores her little brother. She completely despises my family. A lot of this is because of what they did and in some ways I feel they are responsible for a lot of her behavior as she seems to have been deeply impacted by it. My mum thinking of herself as being superior to her mom, and it being noticed by mum ignoring hers, giving angry stares, when my mum thinks it's not noticeable but it actually is, things that have been said around her family not being able to afford things, etc. My wife has been seriously impacted by my mum and just the mention of her brings my wife into anger. Today after not talking about my parents for months she said that I could bring them to our new home and she will go out. I said I would like her to be there. It set her off. For the entire 30 minutes drive to work, five novels of emails to me all day. With her saying I don't care about her and she's only my slave and living according to my needs and she doesn't want to be constantly insulted. She's emailing me constantly today asking me to make it clear that I want to leave her and that I want to marry someone else because she doesn't want to waste her life with me and is sick of our relationship and I don't behave as a husband as I support my parents rather than her and I just am taking revenge on her because I believe she is the culprit and my parents are innocent. 
In some ways she is right, I am getting to the stage where I'm thinking why I should keep suffering when I'm being constantly accused, she claims it's the other way. I do often dream about what it would be like being single again or with someone else who is actually happier, but then my love for her and her family and my values of a marriage keep me staying. I'm definitely not happy however I don't want to let them down and be left with guilt for doing so. My wife never fails to remind me of the one incident where in our honeymoon I was walking ahead of her to quickly get to the airport gate which meant I didn't care about her and forgot about her so quickly after we got married. In the few times her family has known of our issues and tried to talk to her, she has as per your comments accused all of them as trying to control and dominate her. She herself acknowledges all the time that she hates being told what to do and hates being dominated over. Update. My wife started helping with the housework a bit more by cooking some nights and cleaning the bathrooms. She hasn't moved out since last April. She cooks things or buys food, drinks I like making me think she cares. After some of the heated arguments and days of silent treatment, she comes back giving me a hug and saying wants us to be happy. Things that have changed for the worse. Got scratched, clawed a couple of times during arguments, tried to choke me a couple of times. From what I understand of her feelings and BPD she wasn't trying to do lasting harm, but only trying to make me understand her feelings and that I'm wrong and need to realize that yes, I know what you're thinking but I'm just trying to express how she would see it. I'm more stressed at work, possibly also because I've been in the company 10 years. Redundancies occur all the time. I'm scared to lose my job but also wanting a new challenge yet can't seem to make the leap to another type of role or company. Yes, I know big similarities to indecision about my marital issues too. I'm making less effort in the relationship which does bother me but maybe it's because I'm getting increasingly frustrated and fed up. Taking a stand, wife interpretation is fighting back, more often causing things to become worse. She says I'm not loving anymore because I do this and that I hate everything she says or am negative about everything. On the contrary what's changed is that I'm just choosing to ignore less taunts, accusations, things that have stayed the same. I still get told I'm to blame for everything. I'm still reminded that if never done anything for her, loved her since we married. Still told I'm disrespecting her when I'm voicing disagreement about how she perceives I feel or have, haven't done, and that I'm starting arguments. Still get the personal insults. Still get the insults to my parents over what they did over one to two years ago whom she has refused to meet ever since. Still get the silent treatment and then told I'm the one doing it to her when I back off too. Still get told that I should get the D because I'm the one saying I'm not happy with her. And that this relationship can't work if we continue like this. Yes, I've said these things but I also love her. So, thinking out loud. Still finding it hard to get the separation. Did contact a lawyer and got some info a month ago but then things became better for a few days when she came and gave me a hug. Can't bring myself to saying this is it. It's over, yet again until another bad argument occurs. Kind of feel that I'm being a coward or not putting enough effort if I go when things are not at rock bottom. I told her last night. Said we need to go to MC to save the marriage. Which she refused saying I need to go as I have the issues. She started crying and was upset for quite some time. Saying that she knew I wanted to end this marriage for a while as that's why I've stopped caring and that MC is just an excuse for D and that I can't threaten her all the time like this. Hard to hear but somewhat true in the sense that I have grown less attached to her. In fact, I feel I've actually lost some sense of emotions as just felt emotionless while seeing her cry and talk last night. I told her if she won't come to MC then this is it and I will see my lawyer on Monday cause we have been unable to work out things ourselves. Which again she took as threat as I've said this before and haven't gone through with it. But now I am and have told her about the Monday appointment. Still keen to hear about what to do if she won't leave the house. And also, what do I tell the in-laws because of course they will call and want to know why and how to avoid it. I'm thinking if I should mention the relationship has been abusive or about the things she has said and done. Or just not give reasons and say I can't see this working out. Final update. I finally did it. I told her if she didn't see MC with me this is it. She refused so I went to the lawyer for legal separation. Went this morning and started the process. She of course started crying and begging me to not do it, even though she has pushed me to do it many times before. My head tells me to not reconcile as every time I do, the cycle inevitably starts again of taunts and accusations, then the personal attacks. So, this time this is it. My heart though, is aching like anything, telling me how I cannot hug her back and apologize and make a fresh start with her again. It's going to be a hard month. I still don't know what to tell her family when they contact me and ask why this is happening and why can't we work it out. My comment, first of all, there's nothing stopping you from working on things while separated. Dating, seeing if there's change. Story 2. The date is out the door. I'm at my last resort. I caught my wife cheating on me December 6, 2017. For the most part I was an emotional affair but I think the night I caught her it went physical. The guy she was talking to was just going through his wife leaving him so my understanding was he was vulnerable and was still into his wife but confused. My wife started chatting with him and think in October that's the farthest I was able to go back on all stuff I had access to. She tried to kiss him was but was rejected by him. 
but she kept pursuing this guy and making him feel wanted. Okay, now my issue, when I caught her she said she cut it off with him. I was not there to witness it, but she no longer has him friend Ed on Facebook and I no longer see any text messages from them. So only proof I have is her word. She has not once wanted to talk about this at all. She says her way to heal is to not talk about it. Covenant for her. I would try to accept this but there are times I can't so I try to talk about it and I get the same response. Each time I try to talk about it she gets angrier and angrier each time saying I keep trying to relive this. During the first month we were physical almost every night. But a few days later it would come back to me about what she did and poof once again brick wall. She always tells me she is not emotional and don't like to express her feelings. So, three weeks ago I decided I got tired of hearing how emotional she says she is not and brought up the text messages I saw between her and the guy. She was emotional in those and had no problem expressing to him how she felt. She snapped, was all pissed about how I can't let this go. About 30 minutes into this she finally opens up and tells me all the stuff I have done wrong for her to want to cheat. I do accept that I was not there for her emotional and I would turn down bonding a lot due to stress and being tired from a labor job. I realize all the stuff I was doing to show her I love her wasn't enough. So, we get through that. She has said this whole time that she wants to save our marriage. But since that blow up our bonding has decreased to maybe twice a weekend which I have to initiate. If there is any contact I have to initiate. Kisses, hugs, cuddling. She feels exactly the same as she did when she was having the affair, but even more distant. She says she is walking on eggshells because she is afraid whatever she says I take wrong and I'll get depressed. Which yes is true. But at this moment she will not talk about anything to do with her affair. Every time I try she gets agitated and it's never the right time. So last night we had a good day, so I try to be intimate with her. Once again, she says she is too tired. She has been saying this for three weeks now. We don't really have intimate kisses just quick pecks even when I'm trying to make love to my wife. Lately when we do it's can you be quick or we have to throw in an adult movie. I think that's so she can get in the mood. So, I get rejected and of course I can't sleep. So I mention while lying there are you even still attracted to me. She says of course I am, you're still my husband. I have brought up counseling but it has to be convenient for her when we go. So, we don't go. I don't know what to do, she has not done anything to regain my trust and when I tell her that I have a hard time trusting her, she gets agitated. It has hardly been two months and she think I should be over this and moving on. I can't, at this moment and the more it goes on this way the more I contemplate if she is just acting like she is making an effort and just waiting for me to pull the plug so she can go chasing after the guy she was getting attached to. I've mentioned that and all she says I chose you. She does tell me she loves me, but she would say that when she was texting this guy and having feelings for this guy. I have a two-year-old autistic child, so if I leave to separate, I feel like I'm leaving my child and leaving her to deal with him all alone. I'm afraid if I do leave for a while, she goes crawling back to him. I so messed up, I don't know what to do. I feel like my wife is making little to no attempt. I could go on with stuff that I was unhappy about with her, which when we had the blow up I told her. But she has not shown any signs of changing any of that stuff. She just acts like she has given up on life and is just living, and just wants things to go back to the way they were before she made her choice. Do I started getting ready to divorce? Do I keep fighting this pain I'm in and suck it up and bury it and live with it and hope she doesn't do this again? Help, I'm half tempted to tell my wife's parents to watch my kid tonight and set her down and just let go on everything. We have kept everyone out of the loop but her best friend and a couple of my friends, but no one else knows. But I know deep inside this is going to push her farther and possibly over the edge. I'm so screwed. I need advice badly or I might do something that will destroy whatever we have left to save. I am sorry for the poor grammar. Please don't critique that I have other issues than grammar at this moment. Please feel free to ask questions. I'll answer everything I can. I have left many things out to try to make this shorter. Okay she had text messages telling him how she felt about him on early December and was them making plans to go watch a basketball game with a group of friends that she always hung out with which is her BFF. December 7th, she goes to the game. I wake up at 3am she's not home. I text, I call. She calls back like 5 minutes later. Tells me she passed out at her friend's house that she was at I do know at one time. She gets home and goes straight to bed. For some reason I decide to check her phone and found her at 12.38 am sending him a message on Facebook saying hey I'm going to invite myself over, I think I remember where you live. He responds okay. I confront her about it she says she was drunk and passed out at the friend's house and ended up no going over there. Two days later she is at a basketball game so I send a message to her BFF's husband. Asking him what time did my wife leave. It went a while no response. Then all of a sudden my wife starts texting me telling she misses me. Her husband replied that they left before she did. I found out a few days later that her friend contacted her about my message and told my wife that her husband told me they left before my wife did. Feels like it was to cover for my wife. She was really concerned about me contacting them. Like oh boy I'm caught. Our ages I'm 35 she is 33. We have been together for 13 years. 
She has had cancer early in our relationship and I never once faltered. We were not married at that time. Text message were friendly text message from him but real flirty messages from her. He would talk about how he is struggling with his wife leaving, and she would kind of talk about how to feel about him and it had nothing to do with her home life because she felt that way. But she did mention to him at one time early on she wants happy. I have spy stuff on her phone, so I see all calls, text messages and internet activity. She lives on that phone. I have a GPS track on the car, so I can trace that. To this moment there has been no red flags. I feel ashamed for doing this stuff but she has not given me any reason not to. She has already stressed concerns about if she will ever be able to go out again. I've said yes you can if I go with you. She was bothered by that response. Someone said stop sleeping with her, that I'm afraid to do that because that was one of the reason. She said she was having the emotional affair. I was not being intimate with my wife. Maybe once a month was all. At this moment I have no proof she slept with him but the Facebook message I found stated up above in a previous response to questions. No way she just passed out after asking the guy she was going to invite herself over to his house. My gut tells me she did cheat, but stipulation can be bad. We have never done a vacation since our honeymoon and I told her once this all came out that we need to do that more. So since then, she has been looking at vacation places a lot, even after last night. She has the day off today and by watching her internet activity on her phone all she is looking up is place we can go on vacation. I was talking last night while I thought she was sleeping. I do that a lot since I can't talk to her, and couldn't hear me, that this isn't going to work. Well, she ended up being awake and made a comment about it. Then three minutes later rolled over and banged on my head with her finger three times saying that. That will be the reason if this doesn't work. Basically, saying that me, not being able to control my mind and keep it calm. But like I said that didn't push her away at least, she is still looking for vacation spots for us. I do see sign of hope, and she says it's going to take time for her to heal and accept that I'm not going to be who I was, basically ignoring her and not doing anything with her besides sit at home and watch TV. But my problem is she doesn't give me much to feel better about where she is at about how she feels about me, or mentally if she is still here. Her guard is up, only way to knock it down is by thinking everything is fine. Also, that may allow her to get careless and give me evidence that she is still in contact. If she gets comfortable people get careless. At the moment, she only has three ways to hide this. Facebook messaging, I can't trace that, but I blocked the guy on her Facebook and she doesn't even know about it, so she can't contact him through Facebook. Her work email but is for healthcare and it's highly monitored. Or what you guys say a separate phone. So, I guess I need to get a VAV for her car. Can someone explain what that is? I know she can't text or call on her phone and delete it without me knowing. Once she looks at anything I see it through the spyware no matter what. But Facebook messaging is the only thing I can't see if she deletes them. She could be possibly using her work email. But I can't request to see that cause violations since she is in the medical field. I need tell her to stop looking for vacations. I do keep rewarding her. I sit here and justify it like it is my fault. I need to pay attention to what I write cause I sound like an idiot. That's why I'm so messed up I keep trying to rationalize this whole thing like I'm the one who has to fix it. I'm sorry that I look like an idiot. I keep torturing myself with rationalizing everything. Well I decided to talk to my wife and not be a wuss and give in. I pretty much get the it that she doesn't think she did was wrong and I feel like she thinks I deserved it. Well, that was all on the phone before she had to get her hair done. So now I'm sure she was bawling having to see the hairdresser. I'm sure I'm the bad guy again. I didn't call her I shot her a text saying hey it's 1142 and you don't even send me a text saying hi or how are you. So, she calls me thinking that I was going to back down. But I didn't this time. No I feel like the worst guy in the world and that's how it always ends up. I'm the bad guy. Is this 180 is how I was treating her to cause her to have the affair. Everything that is explained on what to do in the 180 is what I was doing to cause this to happen. It is my fault and I am a terrible husband. I didn't deserve to be cheated on, but I deserved her to leave me, wow. I guess I just need to prepare myself to be without her. It's hard to handle, cause I always visioned us being together forever and growing old together. Why I never contacted the guy, was tempted to tell him for fun that hey since you slept with my wife if you didn't wear a jimmy you just got an STD and see what his reaction would be. But I didn't. It doesn't make it right. But the guy's wife left him no more than a month after my wife started chasing him. He was pretty innocent at the beginning, you can tell he was wanting someone to talk to but after a while of being vulnerable, and women coming on to you it's easy to lose yourself and fall for it. And he normally blames the guy but this time, I'm not going to. It's all my wife. He rejects her a few times by the sound of the messages. Like I have said I have no proof that they did have intercourse but it so appears that way. And when my wife and I talked about it, she did agree that it did look really bad and tried to assure me it didn't happen. But jealousy has taken over and losing all trust makes me not believe her. Update, wife and I finally sat down and actually talked about it. Took me to just leave Monday evening and go out to a bar with a friend and then I ended up just crashing at his pad. I didn't tell her I was not coming home I just stayed out. 
She ended up calling me at 5 a.m. crying wondering where I was. So at least I finally got some emotional response from her. So, I drove home and we had long talk and she did the normal I'm sorry, admits to everything and even says she is willing to take a lie detector test. We both called into work and dropped our kid off at the sitters and just spent the whole day talking about our whole marriage and the stuff she is going to do to fix her side and the stuff I was going to do to fix my side. I told her I forgive her, but it does not I mean that I am forgetting it. But there were guidelines, pure transparency was needed and she needed to actually fight for me not just continue like everyday life. She needed to change. I know I'm probably a fool, but I truly do believe my wife. But I do know I look at her differently, and at this moment I am really not sure if I will ever trust her again. The talking makes me feel better for the time, but the next morning it's back to knots in my stomach and distrust. I'd hope someday this goes away, I really love my wife. So, question for you guys who stayed with your wives, does it get easier for yourself and your brain to stop over analyzing everything even after she has come clean and is making the effort to fix the marriage? I'm sure it probably just depends on the individual, but if someone can either give input or send me a link where I can read how guys or gals have dealt with getting through the distrust and anguish you feel, I'd be much appreciate it. Just helps to read about someone else's dealings, and maybe help give me peace. She still denies it. She said she is willing to take a lie detector test to prove I never got past a EA, which I took her up on it. She has not flinched about taking it. I've already looked up prior so already knew what I needed to do to have one done. She has been much more remorseful and now has taken full responsibility for her actions. Just today for lunch she did a surprise stop by and brought some snack to the office, which in the whole history of our marriage she has never done this. Even though she is doing all this I am not letting my guard down. I'm showing her I am but behind the scenes I am not. Just in case if she starts to get comfortable and she is just trying to pull the sheets over my head she might get careless and expose something. I am trying to be more alpha but when you've been beta male your whole life it's hard to just change instantaneously. So, I am working on that. I am also still implementing the 180 so I can detach myself some so if this does happen again, I won't be so wigged out and do all the wrong things first. I put her first in my life and I need to change that. I'm going to continue on changing myself for the better, working out, thinking healthy and thinking more of myself and my needs first and my kids' needs. She is now second priority until someday she proves herself worthy again. Update. Well, my wife finally shot out of her fog on Fib. Ever since then she has been awesome. She lets me have my triggers she tells me everything is very supportive pretty much everything she needs to do. I did not do the lie detector test. I'm 100% sure it didn't go pee I talked to the guy's wife that left him, and that night my wife was saying she was going to go over there, his wife said that she was talking to the OM till 2.30 AM. She even sent me the messages so I had 100% proof that she didn't end up going over there. So, beside the occasional triggers that pop up, my R is going very strong, and every day our marriage is getting stronger and stronger all the time. Our communication being better pretty much everything on her part and my part. It looks like ATM I'm one of the lucky ones and had a wife who took full responsibility and shows tons of remorse. I do realize that it is still early on, but everyone says go by your gut so that is what I'm doing and everything feels like it's going to end up okay. This does not mean I've put my guard down, that will probably stay up for a long time. Comments. For most men, forgiving you is far far easier than forgiving P is something about having your woman inseminated by another man just kills it for many. I know Pa would be a 100% gone for me. You know to never let your guard down right. The toxic friends have to go. They were covering for her and will do so in the future as well. Also, the activities that provided cover. Who is okay for their wife to go out, get wasted and crash somewhere. Do not put up with this. OP responds. Though I should add the more she does make good, I do have some resentment building. Which I have read is not good. Now that I am past the shock and awe of the whole thing. The more she does the more I think, well if you feel this way now, where the heck was it for one and a half months when you were doing your EA this is an issue I going to bring up to my IC. She has no longer and says she will no longer hang out with them. She would hang with these people while tailgating for college football games and has told me she is no longer going to go to games. Which is a huge change because she wouldn't miss a game if her life depended on it. But let's see and sept if that is the case. It's easy to say when there are no games to go to. But also, to my discovery those people were inviting her out it was the OM the whole time. So, if he wouldn't have been inviting her out, she wouldn't have been going. Plus, I will not let her go hang out with them unless I go cause I know he is a regular that hangs out with the group. She knows if I do come across this guy, well it's going to be three days jail time for me. Unless they break it up and let it be. I agree I'm to the point now if it was a Pia she'd be living with her parents. If I'm handling a Ia this badly, I couldn't imagine if it was a Pa. And yes, my guard will never be down and will her freedom is gone, she knows this and accepts it. Well since December 8th all has been well, no since February 6th to be honest. That was the day she took full responsibility. She of course had her few months of denial and not thinking she really did much wrong since there was no bonding involved. 
She just wanted to try to forget the mistake she made and try to pretend it never happened. We went on a vacation for the first time in like six or years alone. Left her son at the in-law's house and we had the best time we could have ever possibly had. We had some good quality time. That was well needed. Plus prior to that we were able to communicate and not be afraid to let each other know if something was bothering us or not. In the end that ended up being the big issue no communication and now we are well on our way to a better stronger marriage. I got myself into shape I was rocking 189 now I'm at 167. I am a construction worker so melting off the fat reveled that I had quite a bit of more muscle than I realized and it has also helped the golf swing and my confidence. My wife recognizes that and is a little bit intimidated by it now. So, I upped my rank so now I feel we are equal again. We now do everything together. At one point I never had interest in wanting to go do much together but it was a good eye-opener and I actually feel like I'm living life again unlike the dormant life I was leading. So, in the end it was a good, bad wake-up call for myself and our relationship and how I viewed it in my eyes. In the end I myself was in a sort of fog myself about the state of our marriage and now it has been lifted for me as well. My comment, would you forgive a wife for emotional affair compared to physical affair? Or both situations are the same to you? I think this is situational, and some emotional affairs are worse than others.